Okay, Rini, uh, you have an idea for this week's vlog? Yes, well, a couple of months ago we've talked with Rabino Handlen yeah. in the artist library, yeah. and then we discussed with him uh, effective teams in nature, yeah. and especially uh, how it is when they're led by women. Yeah. Well, we didn't tape an English vlog uh, with that interview, so I plan to do that. Okay, that's easy. You're gonna write on your blog? I'm going to write. Okay, then I'm gonna look at the video. Okay, cool. Yes. Last time we met, I told you that I'm uh, working on distributed software engineering, completely out of your line. Absolutely. But I thought let's 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 ask Redmond, you know, if he can give me some inspiration on this self-steering team. The wonderful guy called Robin Dunbar, who thinks that we actually evolved, our brains became large in order to deal with different sizes of self-steering teams. Mm -hmm. In other words, um, and I've seen it everywhere I've lived with hunter-gatherers, uh, the most efficient hunting group is, is, is four, four males. And so, but you'll find that in your computer companies, any company, that will be exactly the same numbers. Yeah, yeah. There will be a group of four working on some secret or really important project. And then uh, the company itself will be 60 or 80. And after that, you have to call it something else. You become a department within a big company. Yeah. Um, and it all fits exactly. So there are, there really are rules, I think, depending on brain size. Okay. Um, but you see that actually when the hunting group of four comes back from hunting in this case in the, in the South American rainforest, the jungle. Um, they make a dramatic entrance and they come into this amphitheater area, Shabona, which is exactly like a theater and crammed with people watching from their hammocks, in fact. And the most important uh, audience, of course, uh, are females, entirely female. And they listen to the story of how the hunting went. Who shot what? Now, with, with the eight foot long, six foot long arrow, well, who got that spider monkey? And because they're all talking, there's no possibility of uh, falsehood. You can't get four guys to agree on a lie. Um, so the girls have a very good idea of who is the strongest, sexiest, most alpha male. And I'm afraid that for the next three weeks before they go hunting again, every every girl uh, in that tribono will try and drag the hero off behind a bush, <laughs> collect his sperm. Yeah? I, I thought what's really remarkable is you say, well, the, they come back and then they, in, in, in the theater, and then they, they're going to tell the story of, of, of the hunt. I mean, in, in, in my discipline, what we, we, we call this, it's not a hunting period, we call it the sprint, it's two weeks, in which such a team produces a new version of the product. And then they have a demonstration and yes. they invite everybody they know and then the team demonstrates to the stakeholders what they have achieved. Yeah. It sounds similar to Same thing, and do the, uh, the female um, programmers, they go off with the number one guide. Now, well, uh, not officially, but we, we yeah, might exactly. change the method. Yeah, all the way down the corridor. <laughs> <laughs> Behind the office furniture. <laughs> the number one predator, actually the hyena, and they hunt at night and they're always led by a dominant female and then two slightly less dominant females. So three girls okay. and all the boys follow. Okay. And um, they're devastating, the efficient hunters. And they eat as much as they can uh, when they're killed at night. Then in the morning, the enormous lions come along okay. and pretend that they've done it. <laughs> Push them off. <up. laughs> And, and is it also then groups of four, but probably more than you No, say. more, because how, I don't know How large know why. Those, are those sizes? Of the, uh, the I think they can be between 20 and 30. Oh, that, that um, big? It seems to me maybe if it's actually run by women, all, all the rules have changed. Okay. Um, so maybe even in our field too, you know, if you would have three female software engineers, we could yes. even increase team size. Yes, I think probably you could. Well, you, you've, you've at least you've helped me a little bit of, 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 of clarifying how this goes with self-steering in, 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 in nature. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm still wondering how I can translate that uh, to, to the software engineering groups because they, are, they tend to be really nice to each other, but they don't go all the way, uh, as you just explained. But I will, I will I'll think about it and I will write a nice, nice column about this. Yes, great. Well, thanks. I'd like to see it. Redmond O'Hanlon is a world-famous travel author. He traveled the world and knows a lot about history, nature, tribes 
etc. So it was a, a pretty straightforward idea to talk with him about teams or hunting packs in, in, in nature. And again, he confirmed that teams are much more effective than individuals. And also to demonstrate results, it's better to have the work of teams because as he said, hey, you can't have four guys to agree on a lie. But one thing was interesting and that was what he talked about was the role of women and that the most effective hunting packs in, in nature are led by women. And as he said, when things are ruled by women, all rules change. So I'm, I'm, I'm stuck with that question. And if I look, for example, to Scrum, are teams led by women more effective than the ones led by males? This video blog is sponsored by ProAwareness. And Frans, uh, have you taped it? Uh, yeah, Rini, it's right. And uh, what do you think about it? Well, these four guys cannot agree on a lie. That uh, reminded me of the weekend. Uh. Oh, why? Well, I don't agree with Redmond that four guys cannot stick to one lie. Oh, can okay. you have an example? Well, me and my three brothers-in-law went to my mother-in-law. Yeah, and? Well, we all four, we all four told her she's looking lovely. 